A big blow from Israel. Explosive surprise at Iran's most important point. Israeli jets took off and Iran was dealt the biggest blow of the last period. Explosions are occurring one after the other, both in Israel and Syria, Iran. With the start of the war between Israel and Hamas, the group supporting Israel mobilized for the first time since the beginning of the war. It is known that the pro-Israel group has been living in Iran for centuries. The tension between the Iranian government and these groups has been going on for years and these groups are closely monitored by the Iranian government. In this process, the pro-Israel resistance group contacted Israeli intelligence. After the negotiations, the first step of the attack on the large military headquarters in Tehran was completed. This military base, located in the center of Tehran, is actively used as the command center of the Iranian army and the Revolutionary Guards. The military base is also used for the continuation of Iran's nuclear program. Tensions have officially erupted with Iran's open support for terrorist groups and the sending of large quantities of ammunition to terrorist organizations. Israeli intelligence, after contacting the group inside Iran, began working to overcome the security measures in and around the Iranian military base. Negotiations were held with soldiers serving in the Iranian army and supporting Israel. After this process, it was stated that a large number of explosives were secretly leaked into the military base. With the introduction of the explosive into the military base, a very large explosion occurred in the command center of the military base in a short time. It was observed that the headquarters was severely damaged and some of it became unusable. In addition, the fire in the area has still not been extinguished. The resistance group supporting Israel admitted that they had attacked the military base in Tehran and claimed responsibility for the attack. With the explosion at the military base, it was announced that four more explosions occurred at four different points in Tehran. Official media sources in the region also confirm this information. We follow up-to-date and accurate news for you moment by moment. We share information from more than 100 correspondents and military public information systems in the region. It is also worth mentioning that we work more than 15 hours a day. So to help us, please donate a super thank you. Like the video and leave a comment to support us. And now we move on to the major operation launched simultaneously by the Israeli army. After the explosions, Israel's critical operation officially began. It was observed that Israeli warplanes took off one after another. In the first process, it was thought that the warplanes were moving to Iran, but it turned out that the target of the warplanes was the Iranian airports in Syria. Israeli warplanes carried out eight attacks on Aleppo airport. While the east of the runway was destroyed by two missiles, six attacks were made on the western point. After the attack, it was observed that the airport runway was completely destroyed. The Iranian army was making shipments to terrorist groups through this airport. It is thought that shipments will be greatly restricted after this process. As you know, United States aircraft carriers and Israeli warships have completely cut off Iran's support for the Hamas terrorist organization over the Mediterranean. After this process, the destruction of the airfields used by Iran will bring the shipments to a halt. Iran's only option will be land shipments. However, I can say that it is quite easy to detect land shipments. After the destruction of the airport, it was observed that Israeli warplanes were mobilized again. The warplanes struck a big blow to Iran at point three, in the south of Lebanon. Airstrikes were launched against six Hezbollah camps deployed along the southern line of Lebanon and organizing attacks on Israeli territory. Attacks were carried out sequentially along the southern border of Lebanon. There was no official statement from Iran after the attacks. We will see what will happen in the coming hours. We have come to the end of another video. We will continue to convey the events to you objectively and quickly. I wish you all a happy day. See you soon.